This podcast is about cells, the building blocks of life. Cells are the smallest unit of life. I am an organism, so are you, and organisms demonstrate all the properties of life. Now if I break myself down into my organ systems, those also demonstrate all the properties of life. Organ systems can be broken further down into organs, organs can be broken down into tissues, and tissues can be broken down into individual cells. At all these levels, the properties of life are expressed. However, since cells are the smallest unit of life, if I break a cell down further into its constituent parts, really I've just got a handful of macromolecules and organelles. These, on their own, do not demonstrate the properties of life. But if we stick them together in just the right way, we can form a cell and life and those properties of life emerge. So organisms can be made of different numbers of cells. So there are unicellular organisms that are only made of one cell. Uni is a root word that means one, so that should be easy to remember. And some examples of unicellular organisms are bacteria and even an amoeba is only made of one cell. Other organisms, like you and me, are multicellular. And multi means many, so multicellular organisms are made of many cells. Some examples of these are humans, you and me, and all the animals, roses, which is an example of a plant. So roses and all plants and then mushrooms and all your other fungi are made of many cells. We are multicellular. Now all those different organism types, although they are made of cells, their cells have lots of other different parts as well. However, all cells do have a few things in common. For example, all cells have a cell membrane, which is a lipid layer around the outside that keeps all of the cell parts together, as well as regulating what goes in and out of the cell, so it keeps the cell shape. Inside of that cell membrane is a stuff called cytoplasm, and that's like jelly liquid stuff. It's a place where all the cell's processes go on, so photosynthesis, protein synthesis, cellular respiration, all those processes go on within the cytoplasm of the cell. One of the things it takes to be alive and to be considered a living thing is to have DNA. So DNA is true for all living cells. This is the genetic information that codes for you. So to build the proteins, it codes for the proteins that will build you but I need something to make those proteins and what's great is all cells have ribosomes. So ribosomes are small organelles and their job is to build proteins. So they're going to build the proteins that your DNA tells them to build. So all cells have these. But again, not all cells are exactly the same. So the big ideas from here are that cells are the smallest unit of life. All living things are made of cells. Some may be made of one, some may be made of many. And that all cells, no matter what kingdom they come from, have a cell membrane, they have cytoplasm, they carry DNA, and they have ribosomes. For more about cells and the different kinds of cells, check out the podcast on prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells, as well as a podcast on plant and animal cells.